Hi, this is a guy from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to create a craft sheet. I'm going to create a craft sheet for um, mixed media. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on mixed media, and I even bought a book, an old book at the Goodwill store, and I'm going to start using this to create my art journal, or my art journal book. And I'm just going to rip pages up, put things together, so I'll have some videos, some tutorials on my art journal book as I fill it in with artwork and things like that. This year I want to be a little more crafty. Um, and then so I decided that I wanted to create some kind of craft sheet so that way I don't kind of get the um, paint and everything all over the place. I also want to create a craft sheet that has some cushion. As you can see, these craft sheets that I've purchased, I got this one, and I even have a big one that I purchased at, um, this one was an Amazon. It's actually a lining that, this one, you put it on the, in your oven, and it's a lining for your oven. So, um, that's why I wanted to um, create something a little larger and I also want to create something that has a little cushion because as I start using doing more multimedia um, layouts and things like that, when I do want to use a stamp, um, I want to be able to stamp on something that has a little cushion so I'll get better impressions. And I love these craft, sheet, craft sheets, but my impressions sometimes don't come out that well. When I put it here and I stamp it, it doesn't really come out that well. And I constantly have to put something underneath it, a cushion, in order to um, get a better impression. So I thought about that and I'm like, hmm, if I use some newspaper, so I thought maybe I can use some newspaper, create a little cushion, use these and, and put a lot of newspaper on here, and then, Take one of these um, plastics. I bought this plastic some time ago when I was into glimmer misting and stuff like that. So I want to go ahead and use this to put on top of the newspaper. So I have the best of both worlds. I have cra uh, the, res the resistance of craft sheet so that way it doesn't stain my surface and I can easily clean it up. Plus, I also get the cushion of like one of these. So I want to go ahead and create like a little cushion on it as well. So, what? and in addition to that, I want to make it a little larger than this. This is about, let's see, this is a 23 by 16. So this is a 23 by 16, which is fine. But, I, you know, I really want to make it a little larger so it will cover more of my mat here. So that way I don't get um, paint and all over on my craft mat. So I figure I got these things a long time ago. I figure if I can put two of these together, in addition to that, make it a little wider. So it'll go a little wider on top and on the bottom. I think I can use this for creating what I'm trying to create. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use the this... Um, cardboard. I'm going to use some of this tape to tape the cardboard together and of course I'm going to use some glue in order to put down my I uh, hear my my newspaper to make it nice and thick and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this over it. So hopefully it will come out. So if it comes out you will see the video um, of this if it doesn't then I won't be uploading it. So I might upload it and that way you can learn from my mistake and maybe you can have a better idea of how to do stuff. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put this down. I do want it to make sure that it fits in this on this table so I don't want to make it too large I do have stuff over here, so I don't want to make it that too large. Okay, so now that I have everything set, what I'm going to do, I got some, this is my homemade decoupage, and what I'm going to do is take some of my newspaper, and let me just cut it. So 
So I'm just going to make it that it'll be, I can manage the size of my newspaper so it's not as large. We're going to take some glue, and you don't have to go all the way to the edge because we are going to put, you'll see in a moment, um, what I'm planning to do on the edge to make sure it stays nice and nicely put. And this homemade decoupage is just, oop, I got some on my sheet there. This homemade decoupage is just um, equal parts of water and glue. I'll just put a big glue up there. I hope you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. So I have, I put um, a lot of glue, so there's glue all over the place. Now I'm going to take my newspaper and just going to lay it down one sheet at a time. Okay, I've done laying down my um, piece of newspaper and I put like 20 or, or 30, maybe 30 to 40 newspaper. I don't know. I just put enough that it felt like a little cushion. Um, you can see all the newspaper there. Okay, we're gonna. Um, it doesn't matter that it's not all the way stuck down because in a moment I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But just put enough newspaper that it's gonna be nice and cushy, so it's not completely dry. But let me test it out to see if I need to put more newspaper on there. So I'm gonna test out one of my um, wood mounted stamps and let's see how that comes out. And I love it. It gives it. There's a little gift. Look how nice that looks. Now it's usually my acrylic ones. It's like the ones that I sometimes have issue with giving a good imprint. So let's go ahead and test it out. And look, that's a nice little imprint. I think it's going to work out very, very nice. Not only it's going to be perfect for stamping, but it's also going to be perfect, perfect when. I do do mixed media. Now, what I want to do is I want to flip it over. Oops, sorry that I kind of moved you. But I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to take my brayer, flatten it out. And see right here, I need to trim it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it there trim it on the side if I need to see where it's a little extra I'm going to trim it there so I'm going to go ahead and trim it out and then I'm going to let it dry before I do the next step so I'll shall be back so it's all trimmed out so now because I want a nice um, neutral background because when I'm creating my artwork or, or my layouts I don't want the newsprint to distract from the layout I want to make sure that I want a neutral background so that way I can easily look at my design and I won't get distracted with all this newsprint in addition to I'm planning to use this when I do my videos so I don't think you appreciate it too much if you see a lot of business in the background while I'm creating my art so what I decided is I'm gonna take some of this um, paper that I have here and I am going to use this to neutralize the background. So I'm going to cut this to size. So you don't have to see me struggling putting this on. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to put some um, glue, I'm going to put this on, and then I'm going to let it dry, and I shall be back and show you the last bit of how to put, we're going to then put some tape on the edges to seal the edges um, after I put my, um, my cover on it. So now it's nice and dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this plastic. And if you buy clear plastic, it's probably better, but um, I bought this one with the ladybug, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to measure it out. 
and I am going to cut it to size, the same size as, as my mat. So now once I've done that, I'm taking some clear packing tape and I'm cutting it to size and I'm going to use that to adhere all my edges down. So as you can see there, I flip it over and then I make sure that I put a nice um, edge on all my sides. And I'm sorry that I hit the camera. The camera is actually is positioned above my head and when I'm flipping the um, mat back and forth, I inadvertently hit the camera above my head. So here I'm putting some more packing tape on the back because I also want to make this water resistant. So in case I do put some media, it does seep underneath the mat. It doesn't destroy the mat. So that's why I have the packing tape there. It's going to prevent it from seeping into the paper. So line up the back very well with the packing tape. Okay, I'm done with it. So it's all been um, covered with my plastic on top. I also did some stitching. And then when after I stitched it, I went ahead and put some more tape on top. Because when you stitch, you make holes. And I just didn't want any, any chance it, that it will get water underneath. Then I put some more here. So this is um, just a lot of, of my packing tape on the back to protect it as well. So this is nice and waterproof also. And so now let's test it out. So it's nice and cushiony. It's waterproof. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I have some spritz. And see how nice it will be. I can just spritz it. Yeah, the spritz is not working, but as you can see, I can go ahead and put color on there and pick it up, no problem. So I can do that thing that Tim Holtz does, and no big deal. I can also just take some paint, put some paint there. Even mix it up. That'll work wonderful. See? And in addition to that, I can go ahead and stamp. So if I want to stamp something, it's just perfect. Stamp. And then if I want to stamp this. Just enough give. Perfect stamping each and every time. And then I just go pick the excess up. I'm still going to have to use my craft um, mat if I'm going to use heating because this is, this is heat resistant. This is not heat resistant. But other than that, most of the time it will be perfect. And then I can just take, oops, I spilled a bunch of this right here. So now like if I make a mess like I did just now, I just take some bounty or whatever I have and clean up the mess. You can see there. And there, everything is nice and clean. No big deal. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.